Can I please call you the Leafy of Poketubers? This YouTuber is like the Leafy is here of Pokemon. XD? Oh no, you've been infected with the Leafy virus! Well guys, it's time I admit it. And even though it seems like a lot of you have already caught on to it, I'm gonna come clean today. I am a complete copy of Leafy is Here. If you actually just look at our channels, there's so much in common. We're both guys, we both have uh, YouTube channels, we both talk into microphones, and we both put gameplay in the background of our videos. As you can see, the resemblance is completely striking. Lucky for me, I've gotten more subs in the last 10 minutes than he has in the last 30 days, so that's pretty cool. But yes, guys, I, I am in fact Leafy is here, and that's why I changed my channel name to Lukey is here, and I got this really awesome profile picture. So I hope you guys enjoy the rebrand. Yo, what's going on guys? Pokeballer Luke here, and of course that entire introduction was completely sarcastic, kind of just pointing out how people normally see that I will make a commentary video while gameplays in the background and be like oh my god you're the leafiest pokemon which doesn't really bother me i just kind of wanted to make fun of it but yeah obviously that isn't really the case um i don't hate leafy or anything like a lot of people do i think he's all right i think he's done some stupid shit but yeah we all have anyways that's not what this video is about and you guys probably don't even care but today i'm gonna be bringing you a video talking about sun and moon now lately all over youtube these videos have been popping up talking about uh, my pokemon sun and moon team which is actually a pretty cool concept you know pokemon sun and moon is just around the corner and uh we all want to like think about what our teams are and usually when something's really popular I don't like to do it because I'm kind of like a hipster of the Pokemon community for instance you know I'm always shitting on let's plays and how I'll never do them because everyone does I do do top fives and top tens pretty often but you know it's give or take but anyways you guys know how I usually shit on stuff like that but Today, I actually did want to make my own Pokemon Sun and Moon Team video. Now, the main reason I wanted to make these videos is because they're getting very easy views. No, I'm kidding. That's not why. In fact, mine is still going to be different than the rest. So, basically, the formula of these videos goes with someone, you know, pulling up the six Pokemon that they want to have on their team. Now... I'm not including any spoilers in this, and that's because I haven't seen all the Pokemon. I, I've been trying very hard to avoid the data mines because I just, I want to be a little bit surprised. I've seen some of the data mines on Twitter, some people retweet them, which kind of bothers me, but you know, it's your Twitter, do whatever you want. And you know, it's just a few Pokemon, I haven't seen them all, by any means. Now, the honest truth is that I only know one Pokemon that I want to have on my team. And that's going to be Poplio, and of course it's Final Evolution. Primoria, what, what is it called? Pri Princess Maria? I don't, I don't even know. But yeah, I really like the Poplio Evolution line, so I'm going to be choosing that. And that's the only Pokemon that I know I'm going to have. Other than that, you know, there is some Pokemon that have been announced that I do really like. But usually when I play a Pokemon game, I just go, like, with the flow, you know? That all completely rhymed. Yep. DJ Lukey Luke back in the building. They all really go, go with the flow, you know? You stupid hoe. Toes. Um, sorry, sorry about that. But yeah, I just like to kind of play through the game, and I don't really like to have repeating types, but you know, sometimes I'll have like two water types or something, because it's not a huge deal when you're playing through the game. And I kind of just pick up cool things as I go on. Sometimes I'll pick up a team member, use it for like a gym or two, and then kind of drop it off if I don't really like it. It depends on the moves that it learns, and obviously we're not really going to know all the moves right away. But yeah, so that, that's really my plan for Sun and Moon. I mean, I just want to kind of play through the game, pick up what I see, it's cool. One Pokemon I will mention that I've seen a lot of people shit on that I personally think is pretty cool is Alolan Persian. A lot of people are just saying it looks kind of stupid, and, you know, I think it, it's kind of stupid, right? But it's also funny, dude. Like, people are so quick to just say this Pokemon sucks because it looks dumb, but, you know, some of the dumb-looking Pokemon, in my opinion, could be some of the funniest. So I think Alolan Persian is pretty awesome. I might have to pick that up if, if I find it in the game. Who knows? But yeah, so I guess the kind of message I'm trying to deliver here is like, don't dictate what your experience with Pokemon Sun and Moon will be right away. You never know. Like, you can really be like, oh my god, I need Vikavolt on my team because it's Bug Electric, which is sick. But like, you could get Vikavolt and it could learn like no good attack. It, lear it learns Thundershock at level 99 and then you won't want it. Like, we don't really know. Also, we don't really like, I'm pretty sure we don't know like what types all like the island leaders are. So I'll also with that, you know, you might need some different super effective things. This is really, really, really f***ing stupid, but I, I like to kind of get emotionally attached to the Pokemon I choose in a way. Like, I go through a lot with them, you know? 
So I kind of just picked the ones that I see an attachment to. I remember I was playing through Pokemon X and Y for the first time, and I like thought out what my entire team was. I'm going to have this Pokemon, this Pokemon. And then I was going through the first forest in the game, and I saw a Pikachu. And I was like, oh my god, a Pikachu? That's like a 5% encounter. And I ended up catching it and using it through the entire game, and my team got completely messed up. And I didn't use the team that I was planning on using, but I ended up having a lot more fun just having this random team of Pokemon that I kind of got attached to in a way. And like, just a little side note, you guys ever are like playing through the game and your Pokemon gets confused and then you're just like talking to your DS. I don't know, this might just be me. I might just be that weird. But like when my Pokemon gets confused, I'm like, it's okay, buddy. Just try your best. You got this. You got this. It's okay. If you hit yourself, it's okay, man. It's all on you. Just do whatever you can. It's okay. And then like, if they don't hit themselves, I'm like, hey, good, good job. You did well. But if they hit themselves, I'm always like, God, you actually failed me so bad. What is your problem? I'm a, I'm a bad Pokemon trainer. But yeah, I don't know. This kind of random video but i just wanted to say like you don't need to pick your team right away you know you can play through the game and just pick it up as you go that's that's honestly in my opinion the best way to play the game so i don't know i guess that's really it um in the end guys pokemon sun and moon is like two three weeks away or something like that and i just hope you guys all have fun with the game i know i'm gonna have a ton of fun i am gonna have a day one video obviously like i've said before i'm not gonna be doing a let's play of it but i am gonna have a, a parody video um out day one so stay tuned for that and yeah, have a great day, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Sorry there's no Poke Quiz this week. I'm super busy with end of the quarter. And a video like this takes a lot less editing than a video like Poke Quiz, where there's a lot of keyframing. Uh, a lot of you might not even know what that is, but that's basically like the little animations and stuff. A Poke Quiz just takes a long time to script and to uh, get the comments and everything. So I'll have one out next week. Don't worry about it. But yeah, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.